Hello, everyone. Happy Friday. Thanks for joining us here on CBS News. I'm Elaine Quijano. And I'm Lana Zach. Here's a look at the top stories we're following for you right now. U.S. Senator Bob Menendez and his wife have been indicted on federal corruption charges, accused of using his power as a senator to accept bribes. Plus, the United Auto Workers strike is expanding its strike at two of the big three companies, saying it has made progress with Ford, but not GM and Stellantis. And a powerful storm is threatening the East Coast, bringing heavy rain and wind from the Carolinas to New England. And later this hour, the Biden administration is announcing the first of its kind White House Office of Gun Violence Prevention. The office will be overseen by the vice president. I'll tell you what it plans to do. Plus, a new recommendation for all pregnant women, why federal health advisors say expecting mothers should be screened for blood pressure disorders. We are following breaking news. New Jersey Democratic Senator Bob Menendez and his wife have been indicted on federal bribery charges. The Department of Justice says the couple accepted hundreds of thousands of dollars of bribes from three New Jersey businessmen. Federal prosecutors allege Menendez used his influence to benefit the three men and the government of Egypt. In a statement, the senator says they, quote, misrepresented the normal work of a congressional office. The charges stem from a years-long public corruption investigation into the chair of the Senate Foreign Relations Committee. There are things that Senator Menendez says he can do for his constituents and things that he says he cannot do for his constituents. He put it all on his Senate website. So, for instance, it says he cannot compel an agency to act in someone's favor. It says he cannot influence matters involving a private business. It says he cannot get involved in criminal matters or cases, period. But we allege that behind the scenes, Senator Menendez was doing those things for certain people. Jessica Levinson and Robert Laguerre join us now. Jessica is a CBS News legal contributor, and Robert is a CBS News Justice Department reporter. All right, so Jessica, walk us through the evidence laid out in this indictment. The evidence here is that 